Welcome. This is David Bowles, Human Meme. Today's topic, multi-level marketing marks. We all know about the pyramid scheme. People, innocent people, pay into a scheme to make money. And the scheme ultimately collapses when people get smart and stop putting good new money into the old bad scheme. And the payouts end before anyone is paid back their dividend. See Bernie Madoff for a more elaborate take on an investment pyramid scheme that went on and on and lasted for years and ended really horribly for a lot of people. But, my human meme friend, there are other pyramid schemes afoot that still survive today, some for many years, and they live in the guise of a gilded promise of prosperity. You have to buy in with your own money, but you'll be rich. You have to have people under you who also buy in to the same scheme and... As long as those below you keep spending and buying and coercing others into the scheme, then the system, the scheme, continues to work, at least for a while, until the lowest of the low finally get tired of buying product at their own expense that they can no longer sell, resell, or even use Tiny crumbles ruin an empire. But that doesn't mean the top earners won't stop telling you, hey, you can still be a success. Hey, you too can make money. Hey, you too can become a millionaire like me, almost. And that is when you have to stop and ask about those promised millions, the millionaires, where are they? Well, you won't find many. You might find a few, a few, a some pretend millionaires, but you won't find any outright millionaires at the entry level. Even though that's the sales pitch, that's the story told to make you fit into their mold and to sell you on the investment scheme. Oftentimes, going into business for yourself becomes a going-out-of-business sale. And these New Day Pyramid schemes are now collectively called multi-level marketing. But the effect for multi-level marketing is the same as the old pyramid scheme, You build your wealth on the success of other people. And that means you, the salesman, the mark, the stooge. You have to find other marks and stooges, just like you, to bite into the get-rich-quick scheme in order for you to begin to make money and make amends. And yes, my human meme friend, multi-level marketing scams are everywhere, full of promise and low on delivery. Pride ascertains its victims. And the MLM, the multi-level marketing, the MLM experts know that. And so they will keep you hooked on their line for as long as possible to wring out that last dollar from your sweating fist. And hey, we all want to make money. We all want to believe in the American dream. We can have everything we want. We believe we can have what the millionaires have. If we only work hard enough and if we are only lucky enough. But that's not the American dream, my friend. That is a lottery ticket. For many years, the New York City's lottery slogan was 
a dollar and a dream. And many believed and many played for that one dollar. And few people ever got a payout, not even getting their dollar back. The bottom supports the top. But at least a lottery ticket gives you some sort of chance at success. One shot at winning for a set price. While an MLM scam only sucks you deeper into the dollar at a time, at a time, at a time. Until you're fully vested with all your dollars in your own failure. Spending $1,000 a month on products you do not need and do not want. When I was a young man back in the Midwest, a woman from church was selling vitamins and terrible-tasting protein bars 30 years ago. And she was shilling for this big multi-level marketing company. She was their official sales representative. And she always called on Sunday night, bothering all of her church friends to buy her junk and to help sustain her upsell limits. And my mother would buy stuff from her every couple of weeks or so, and we ended up throwing away everything we ever bought because the vitamins made you flush and the protein bars were inedible. So maybe it was all a bit of a charity charade to buy those expensive vitamins and health bars without using them. But there came a time to end the charade and stop paying. And of course I was the fall guy. Little kid getting the blame. My mother told the woman I wasn't taking the vitamins and I wasn't eating the protein bars and I was wasting all of her money. Me wasting money on stuff I never even asked for or wanted. Well, from then on, that woman at church every time in the hallway gave me the old lady evil eye as if I alone had taken communion bread from her sacred heart and turned her grape juice rancid, not into blood, but vinegar. And so these MLM schemes require a certain level of believability, of faithlessness, or the suspension of disbelief. And that's why so many of these schemes appear to use religious memes and totems to keep the money coming in. Well, you believe, don't you? And if you don't believe, then the true believers in the scheme, the business, believe not in God. They believe in the process. And they will torment you and they will ostracize you to teach you a lesson. You want to be a millionaire, right? So you must believe. And give me your last dollar. MLMs require a cult mentality to keep order and to keep the money machine shaking. One former teacher of mine decided to invite her students over to her house for a party when we all graduated from high school, and we would each receive a special gift. And so, yes, for years and years, many of us anticipated this wonderful gift this teacher was going to splurge on us. And splooge, she did. Her party for our high school graduation and her gift to us was to become part of her multi-level marketing Scam. She wanted us to buy into her product line. She would be our upline, and we'd all sell for her together as one, gifting her all our hard work while we got absolutely nothing in return from her. 
except the honor of giving her our money. And it was all such a scam and such a disappointment. You don't expect your elementary school teacher to try to scam you ten years later on your graduation day. But that she did. And I guess that's why it's so easy for predators to chase children in the first place. Kids tend to believe in and trust adults. Now, I admit I'm no genius, but I am smart enough to recognize when someone else is not a genius. And I smelled that graduation day MLM scam from our teacher years away from the final death blow. That teacher had always been all about herself and nobody else. And it was her habit of character that her gift to us, of course, for graduating, would, of course, only really be a gift to herself, of course. And she was that way as our teacher as well way back then. And she revealed the true test of herself to not care about us, but only for us. She cared only about our false futures that would be attached to her forever. And she did it all in the call of the demise of her moral duty to exploit us as graduating students, making us her forever elementary school slaves. So when you have been anointed and pointed to as the foci of these sorts of multi-level marketing scams, you tend to become infuriated as you see others around you who are bitten by the promised rush to riches. These people think they'll be millionaires by the age of 25 when they will not. And that sage reality of predicting the future before it happens is the death blow to these multi-level marketing pyramid schemes. Because when you know the end game, before they tell you how to start, you have intertwined authentic divinity into a dark world. A dark world that is now filled with your light of truth, justice, and the real American dream. Thank you for listening. Be a human meme. <laughs>